everyone, I'm Silent Death, and welcome to Kerbal Space Program Science Harder Campaign. In this episode, we have to land the dynamic Duno and the two bad landers on the surface of Ike with no landing gear, no safety nets, no detaching anything because we have a pretty valuable contract for building a surface outpost on the surface of Ike and it requires 10 kerbals or the capacity for 10 kerbals which we only have if we have everything. So we're going to fast forward in orbit and set up our landing approach. We are coming in oh, for a burn at our periapsis. We're going to lower our orbit so we have a nice shallow orbit and come in around here. I think that looks kind of flat, but there's obviously a mountain or something right there. Maybe we have enough time to grab the CVA before. Maybe. I think we do. Keep you on retrograde. It's more efficient to, to do the landing this way than to try and get to burn here and lower your periapsis because you still have to kill all this velocity anyway. So it's better to come in with a nice shallow orbit. It also saves you all those losses from having to slow down and then fall too far. Because you'll be skimming the surface. A bit more. And go. We should be landing somewhere around the equator. We may want to cut this a little bit short so we land in here, but I don't know. That looks kind of dark. I'm not sure if that's flat or not. I'm going to go with R not. So maybe we'll go a little bit shallower then. And land somewhere out here because it looks a little bit flatter. We do need somewhere really flat so that we don't tip over. Still going. We may actually burn somewhere over here. Okay, I think. Perhaps is at ten K. We'll do another burn, I say... Actually, we'll just start burning at our periapsis and then see where that puts us. Maybe? I don't know. What if we do something here? A little tiny burn here. Aim it long so that we can cut it short. And then let's fast forward a little bit more. Lowlands, well, missed that. Doesn't matter, we'll pick it up later. Not going to be uh, transmitting much science anytime soon. I wonder if we can transmit to carbon from here. The Ike is inside the cone range, but I'm not sure if it counts since it's not technically pointed at Ike. I think we'll go ahead and lower our gear in case we tip over. I 
let you do an EVA report. Wish it would pick somebody in the science capsule to do that. Not much of a burn. Okay, pass it a little bit. I think that's good enough. Now then, what's our acceleration? 4.59 meters per second. And we need to do 3,500 meters. Maybe 75 seconds. Somewhere around in there. To burn. We'll see how we do. Coming in a little bit low there. Our impact, it doesn't know yet. Okay, there it goes. 13.1 slope. That's not good. How close are we to our impact? Okay, yeah, we still got a ways to go. We'll switch this to surface mode before we forget, because that would not be good. Landing right here would actually be really good if we could pull that off. Looks flattish. Could be wrong. See, we still have quite a bit of horizontal. Okay, we're still moving at a good clip. View it this way. I don't know, maybe that isn't so flat. Where does that put us now? It looks like a flat area. So we'll let it fast forward a little bit. We actually need to start burning soon. Probably let it get down to about 50 seconds and then we need to start burning. All right, yeah, we'll start now. Two point one three, two point four. So it isn't that bad of a slope. If we can keep in this area, it's actually increasing now. Five, six, back down to five. Seems to be holding. Around five-ish. Maybe we can stay up that straight. I'm not sure. We do need to hold stability for ten seconds. And we also probably want to let someone get out and plant a flag and all that stuff. Now we're at a steep slope. Getting steeper. Probably that part right there. Nine. What's our speed and our impact time? 30 seconds. Twelve, thirteen. Really steep slope. Seventeen, even worse. Starting to level out a little bit.
ten? Hmm. Probably wanted to land up there, but we missed it. We could kind of burn vertically and push ourselves higher. Go this way. burn up. Yeah, we need to turn this off. That would be good. Vertical speed are dropping. Alright, let's see how that looks. No, a little bit higher still. Let's try that. Almost over the ridge. Okay, we'll need to go a little bit more. Come on. Still looks pretty steep. Where we're going to land. Any changes going on? Two eight. Take a look out here. Hmm. Hard to say. I think maybe if we go retrograde now. Try to land. It does look at least a little bit flatter. That's pretty steep. Come on, get around, get around. Eleven degrees. Come on, you can do it. Now we're getting flatter. Two degrees. That's nah, some flat stuff. Three. We are only at 500 meters off the ground. It's basically killing our horizontal. we fall faster. It looks like 3.8 degrees and I think we can probably pull that off. Let's go ahead and retract the solar panels. Getting a little bit steeper now, 5.8 degrees. Seven point nine. Okay, we need to go a little bit more 
this way. Still seven point nine. A little bit prograde. Eight can't be right. Now then go retrograde. And maybe we're still landing over here. It's our vertical speed that needs to go up. Fine. A little bit low for this. So you see our shadow right there? This is about where I want to land, I think. Five point six, five point eight. We're dropping, dropping. Impact in eighteen seconds. Okay, you need to start facing the right way pretty quickly. Really, really quickly. Like now. Come on. Get over. Get over. Get over. Oh, this is going to be close. Burn. That's close. Hold that. Okay, can you stand straight up? Do you? With that. Hold, please. Hold. RCS. Can you hold? No, it doesn't look like it's going to do it. Alright, the wings are holding us up now. Are we on the maintain stability part? Maintain stability for 10 seconds. Go ahead and do a crew report, a material study. A uh, mystery goo, a seismic scan, a surface sample. Whoops, I don't want us to do a surface sample. Crap. Uh, board. There, hold. That was dumb. Mystery goo. A temperature scan and a material study. The goo rocks violently around the container. One of the samples has reacted very strangely to the surface, like collected and recorded temperature data. Is it throwing a tantrum? I don't know. Okay, one of you guys should probably be the one that gets out. How about you? Uh, I might have to turn off the 
RCS for this. Hold right there. I'm not sure if we're getting the stability part yet. We gotta be pretty close. Depends on what it calls stable. Ah, oh, there we go. Built an outpost on the surface of Ike. Pretty rough landing. Let's go ahead and hop out. Everybody's going to plant a flag. But we'll just do it with one guy and I'll do the rest off camera. I think Nilstead's going to be the one that does it. Don't do anything crazy. So we've already got a Midlands EVA report, above it anyway. Bam! EVA report. There's a bunch of large rocks scattered around the surface. The surface appears to react oddly to the light. You find a green mineral in the soil. That's probably snot. Alright, now then. We will plant a flag. This will be Midlands. There we go. So it really is at the middle of no land, of nowhere, of no lands, that too. And we'll hop up. Ooh. Not that heavy gravity here. Or heavy of gravity. And I think we're going to end this episode here. Next episode, we will be invading Duna. But like if you like. Subscribe if you're not. Leave a comment. If you have anything to say. I... Do you read all the comments? Thanks for watching, and I will see you uh, next time.